Welcome to all to the channel GeoGuru. In this video, we are going to learn how we can import some traditional GIS format and data sets into the Google Earth Pro. So let's begin. So we will open this is the Google Earth Pro software and this can be downloaded and installed freely. No need any ex additional expertise to install the software. We'll go just to the f go to the file and click on import. So when we click on import, we can see uh, in this there are numerous of format that we can import into the our Google Earth. That means we can import the CSV file, we can import the shape file, we can import the GeoTIFF format. That means raster. We can import the Adas Image dot IMG format. We can import the GeoSpatial PDF and we can import the GRD Grid file also. So we will see first of all how to import a TIFF file. So I'll just click on GeoTIFF and here we have one data set of list 3 sensor. I'll just click open and it will automatically ask me about the about the description and uh, the view the altitude refresh and the location part. So if I'll just uh, drag it over here we can see this is a, a single band image here we can see this uh, image has been overlaid and uh, if I need to adjust this image I can adjust with the uh, providing the north east south and west latitude longitude and I can rotate by giving the value also or I'll just uh, click on ok and after that here I can see this a tab is also there known as list 3 that means my image name I'll just uncheck this and check this and by zooming to an any location I can check that uh, my image has been superimposed correctly or not so i'll just see so yes this is a very coarser resolution that means 24 meter resolution of image and this google earth is a very high resolution image so i can see this the features are overlaying correctly that means it has been overlaid correctly and suppose if i want to move or adjust this image i'll just uh, go to this right click over this and click on properties and I can adjust this image according to my own use. So I'll just cancel it and I will remove this. So the next we will try to import shape file. So here I will select ESRI SHP that means shape file, is the shape file and here we have one single shape file and it is a polygon shape file it is asking me do you want to apply a style template i'll just click yes and here uh, i can see my attribute table over here we have uh, many columns and many rows here i can see that and if i want to set field name that means the state name i'll just give this column as a state name if i want to change the color like uh, if i want to change the different color if i want to keep the similar color so presently i'm just uh, uh, clicking on use single color and uh, I'll just click any of this color and I'll click OK and it is asking me to save that template file so I'll just save it as a temporary file here uh, I don't see any shift file why because it is actually unchecked I'll check that and you can see our shape file can be see clearly in my Google Earth Pro and if I click any of there uh, all the attribute uh, information of that particular polygon will be displayed over here and if I want to convert uh, the each and every polygon I'll just click on uh, this drop down menu I'll just and there are uh, all the small polygons have been listed over here and I want if I want to change the color pattern of any single polygon I'll just click right click over here click property and uh, go to style and I'll just uh, give any other color so we can see this okay I'll just do it for some other polygon because that is some other color I'll just give green color so we can see Andhra Pradesh is a state a polygon uh, for which I have changed the color and this is the green color and if I want to change the color as a hollow one I'll just go to the style and give here I can 
click uh, outline that means no color so I'll just click OK so I can see this Arunachal Pradesh is a state uh, which is outlined if I want to change the whole of this country or whole of this uh, all the polygons I'll just click over here click properties and go to style and I'll just click share style and I will click outlined okay so now all the states can be seen as a hollow polygon so this is all about how we can export the shape file I'll just remove this now if I want to export any CSV file so here I'll just ch check my CSV what type of data has been contained so this is a CSV that means comma separated folder uh, version here the column name is the place name that means name of the cities and state and the latitude and longitude of that particular state so I'll just close this and uh, I will open this file into my Google Earth Pro so I will go to the file import filter this as CSV open here now it is asking me the basic information like uh, it is a delimited it's a comma deli uh, comma delimited tab and here I can see my uh, all the information if I click on the next it is asking me the column name and uh, location of latitude and longitude that means what is the column name which contain latitude and what is the column name which contain the longitude so the name is written as it is so long latitude contained in the latitude column and longitude in the longitude column and I'll just click next and leave as it is I click finish I'll just click yes and uh, I'll just give uh, the place name ok so I'll just check this and I can see this all the points in my CSV file can be displayed by this uh, red color and the name of that particular point is written over it that means Orai Uttar Pradesh and all the other names are written from the Google map I'll just uncheck this place and border and labels now I can see this all the name that has been written over here are extracted from my CSE file and if I want to change this icon I can do this by clicking on this go to properties and go to style share style and I can change the icon from this like uh, I'll just shorten this ok ok now the icon of each and every point has been changed and if I want to change the icon only for one or two uh, points I'll just drop down this and uh, take any of this uh, like this chitar I'll just right click over this click property and if I want to change as C I'll just click OK now I can see this all the places are been has been marked with the place mark of uh, yellow color but this chitar that means this place has been marked as a red color so this is how we can export some of the standard GIS format like shape file, tiff file and csv file into the google earth so that's it for the day guys if you like the content of this channel please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to like this video thank you